Merry Meet, Annie here. The reflection today is about the winter sunrise. Even if we're the kind who tend to be out and about early, we tend to miss a lot of that in the cold months, unless our lives require us to be out and about early. We see a lot of winter sunsets, though, coming far too early in the day. We say farewell to the sun on our way home from work or school, perhaps as we gaze out of the window as we make our evening meal. It seems it comes far too soon in these early weeks after the solstice. We'd like to rush Brother Sun in his return journey. We crave those longer days. Uh, but the winter sunrise, it's magical in so many ways. Perhaps most especially because it lights up the sky in colors that aren't part of our winter landscapes. Pastel colors of spring, fiery colors of summer, and warm colors of autumn, all suspended in a winter sky. My reflection for this day is a poem by A.Z. Dillinger that I came across online. A.Z. is a rap and hip-hop artist, and his poetry is amazing. He usually posts lyrics or poetry once a month or so on his blog at azdillinger.co.uk. I hope you enjoy this from him, called A Winter Sunrise. The sun's rising slowly over the horizon. Black silhouettes of trees are in front and the sun is behind them, displaying a warm glow of yellow with a hint of orange around it. As the color spreads out further, the orange becomes infused with a tint of red. As the hue continues to spread, a light blue blending in with a dark gray, reflecting on silver clouds up above with an orange underbelly. Yet more silhouettes in the sky can be seen and heard. One is man-made, the other is natural. I'm talking about the aeroplanes and birds. One roars aggressively, which is, well, man's inherent nature. The other chirps away so gently and sweetly, which is nature's key to pleasure. The concentrated spot of beauty slowly begins to rise and expand gently. The red and orange disappear and leave behind a half-golden ball of yellow rays, which stretch their awe and radiance along the horizon. Almost as though they were stretching, just like me when I'm awoken in the morning. It's moving so slowly that I barely notice this ball full of fire burning in the skies. Heating and lighting a civilization which takes its splendor for granted. I ponder, what if it asked the Creator for a day off and its wish was granted? Now reaching the top of its arc, it sits upon its fiery throne briefly before starting to decline slowly and retiring to rest for the night. And so the law of nature once again dictates its power and the process begins to take place in reverse. The bright light gently begins to fade away and a crest of black can be seen up above in the sky. Below it, baby blues fade into navy blues as the hues continue to move in reverse. Eventually, the colors begin to disperse into a solid black and orange, in front of which the